Hello all, in our previous video we have seen about CSS colors and also we have understood how colors are important, why we have to choose proper colors, why we have to use base colors, what are base colors, everything we have understood. Now in this tutorial we are going to see about CSS background property. Okay, we are having some of the background properties in CSS and also we are going to see what are the values we can give inside that. Now here I have just written one comment CSS background property. I'll just write one div container. Okay, I'm just going to write here one div. Let me just remove this container. I'll just write div. Okay, I don't have any content inside this one. I have just written one div. Now inside CSS here I have just written the comment. Now here I'm just going to target this div and for this I'm just going to give background color background color let me just write here red or oh, instead of red let me just write here aqua i'll save this i'll come here okay i have opened this file i'll refresh this one now you can see i don't have any color because i have just given only the div container i don't have any content inside this one and whenever i give this background color or if i give any color it is not going to apply because here i don't have any content which means it is having zero percent of width and zero percentage of height now inside this I'm just going to create h1 and inside this let me just copy this and here I'm just going to paste. I'll save this. Now I am having some content inside this div container. Now if I refresh this you can see whatever background color I have applied for the div container that is being taken. Now if I just give background color for h1 let's see what happens. I'll just write here h1 and for this h1 I'll just copy this and here I'm going to paste. Now here I'll just write here red. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the background color red is been applied because whatever background color we have given for the div that is been hidden and that is present backside. Okay, this H1 heading we are having on top and both div and H1 are block level elements. So here I'm having this output. Now instead of this H1, if I just give here span, span and as we all know span are inline element and they will take only whatever content we are having only that space they will be taking now if i refresh this you can see here i am having this output okay the background color is being changed for this diff container now let me just come here now inside this style.css here i am just going to write span i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see how much content it is having only that particular width it is going to take so here i am having background color for span as well and my div background color is also visible okay background colors are very useful whenever we are creating some containers okay we are going to give background colors a lot and also we will use that colors a lot okay for gradient effect for overlay effect we will be using this a lot okay this is all about background color let me just change to h1 I'll save and here also I'm just changing it to H1. I'll refresh this. Now here I'm having this output. Now for this if I just increase the height. Height let me just write here 100 pixel. I'll save this. Now if I refresh this you can see now this div container is having 100 pixel of height. And on top I'm having this H1 heading and below okay this complete 100% is been covered by this div container. Which is having this aqua color. Now here below this if I just write one paragraph, I'll just write here lorem 10. Now this paragraph will be having the background color what is given inside this div container because this div is the parent of this one. I'll just come here. I'll refresh this. Now you can see same background color is been applied. Now if I just give background color for the paragraph, whatever color I give that will be taken by this paragraph and that will be applied. But this aqua color will still be present and that will be hidden okay behind it is going to be hidden okay like for how h1 it is hidden like that it will be hidden here okay this is all about background color property okay we have seen about colors and also we have seen what are rgb values what are hex values now let me just decrease this opacity here i'm just going to give rgb a i'll come here i'll refresh this now you can see the opacity is being decreased and whatever color i'm having behind that will be applied here okay this is how opacity will be reduced and whatever color i'm having behind that color will also be visible now if i just give here yellow color i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see here here i'm having okay light yellow color i'm having on this okay this is how we are going to work Okay, this is all about background color property next we are going to see about background image if you are visiting website then you will see lot of background images and on that background images you will find lot of buttons lot of content inside that background image so we are going to see how to use background image in css now here i'm just going to write background image 
okay once you write this background you will be having all these properties you don't have to worry about this we are going to see one by one now here i'm just going to write background okay if you don't get any suggestion you can type no problem here i'm having background image now whenever we are writing this one we are having all these values linear gradient radial gradient everything we are going to see now for background image we have to write this url now inside this okay we have to pass the image path okay either you can pass the link or whatever file path you are having inside the folder you can pass that path now here inside my root folder i have just created images folder inside this i'm having bg.jpeg now here i'm just going to pass that path okay now my css my style sheet is present inside css folder now i have to come outside of this so for that you can write either single quotes or double quotes here i'll be writing two dots slash you can see i'm having this images folder inside that i'm having this background image i'll save this okay now before that let me just remove this height i'll just comment this one i'll refresh this one now you can see here i'm having this background image okay because here i'm having this because here i'm having this paragraph now if i just remove paragraph from here i'll refresh this one now the background image is hidden and as i have given this opacity for this red color okay for this heading you can see the background image is still visible here now if i still reduce this opacity now suppose let me just write here three i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see it's been it will be acting as a overlay okay this is how we are going to use background images now here i'm just going to increase the height let me just write here 100 pixel i'll refresh this now here i'm having this image now instead of this if you just want to cover if you want to give background image for complete okay complete 100 percent if you just want to give you can just write here 100 view h which means that view height whatever browser okay whatever display content we are having it will be taking complete 100 percent height of that I'll refresh this now you can see here I'm having this 100 view height now but the problem is my images are repeating I want only one image okay whenever you are giving background image by default the images will repeat so for that we are having another property that is nothing but background repeat here I'm just going to give that one background repeat okay inside this we are having plenty of values no repeat repeat in x repeat we are having repeat in y direction we are having inherit values we are having all these values now here I'm just going to give no repeat once I give this no repeat I'll refresh this now you can see it is not going to repeat and this color whatever I have given here this yellow color whatever background color here I have given that is being applied as i have given 100 view height whatever color i am having that is been applied and here i am having this small image okay this is the small image so whatever background color i have given that is also been taken okay this is how images are useful now here instead of this if i just write here repeat x let me just write repeat x i'll save this now it is going to repeat only in x direction in the same way if i just write here y it will be repeating in y direction i'll refresh you can see it will be repeating in y direction okay this inherit and initial values are also important it means that whatever parent we are having okay whatever properties we are having inside the parent that will be applied to the child if we give inherit okay it is going to inherit the properties from the parent okay this is all about this one now for this let me just check for this i'll just write here background image let me copy this let me just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste now here let me just write here inherit i'll save this okay now for this h1 i don't have okay you can see my image is not visible because whatever image i'm having for h1 that is been hidden behind so for that we are having another property let me just write here background position background position and here let me just write right top i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see for this for heading also i'm having the background image and whatever properties i gave for this one that is been taken for this one okay as position is been changed and whatever inherit properties i have given that is been applied for h1 as well now if i just increase the size now if i just increase the height of h1 100 view height i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see whatever properties i am having for parent that is been applied okay this is how inherit value will be useful whatever we are having here that will be taken and that will be applied now if i just write here x uh, instead of x let me just write here no repeat now for parent i'm just going to write here no repeat i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see it will not repeat okay whatever properties i am having in the parent that will be applied 
okay now for parent i am having this overlay and for this i am not having overlay for h1 i am not having but for parent i am having this overlay because for h1 here i have given this background color and whatever color i am having here that will be applied on top because h1 heading will be top of this one and for this it is not been applied because now this color whatever i have given here that is been hidden behind this image so that will not be visible for me okay this is how you should be very careful and you should understand this one once you practice this you will understand how important it is and how we have to use this one okay we are having background repeat and right top okay it will come on right top now in the same way we can give multiple values here i can just write here uh, right bottom right bottom i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see it will come on right bottom okay now this property is whatever i am having here that is not been applied here because i have not passed position here still let me just write here background position now in the same way if i just write here inherit i'll save this now whatever value i am having here for the parent that same will be applied for this one i'll refresh this you can see here okay in the same way right bottom parent and child are on top of each other now it is not visible now if i just remove this one and if i just write here left bottom left bottom i'll save this i'll refresh this now you can see the child has come here okay this is how we are going to use images now let me just remove this as of now uh, only image i'm just going to remove i'll just remove this and here i'm just going to pass another image before that let me just show you the output i'll refresh this now here i'm having this image now for this i'm just going to remove this background position as of now later on we are just going to use now if i just want to pass multiple images now here i can just separate by comma again i can just write here url inside this we can just pass this path i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see only one image is visible the other one is not visible because whatever image i have applied that is been hidden behind this one because here i have passed only one value no repeat now for second one if i just write here repeat x repeat x i'll save this i'll refresh this one the second one is repeating in x direction but the first one is fixed here okay at the first top position it is fixed but second one is repeating in the x direction now how we should know okay we are not getting because both are overlapping and we cannot see that so for that now here i'm just going to separate it by comma and instead of this let me just write here left bottom here i'll be writing left bottom i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see here here i'm having for the first image okay now here i'm having right bottom for this let me just write here right top okay again it is overlapping so i'm just removing this i'll refresh now you can see right top i'm having the first image and the x direction okay whatever the second image is repeating here i'm having below okay this is how we are going to work with multiple images if you want you can give some more images and you can play around with this one okay this is all about background repeat background position we can add multiple images now next we are going to see about background attachment now below this let me just write here background attachment okay it's not coming let, let me just type that one background attachment now for this we are having same values like how we have inherit initial and set now for this i'm just going to give here fixed i'll save this and as of now i'm just going to keep only one image i'll just remove this and also i'm just going to remove this i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i'm having only one image now you can see when i scroll the image is fixed now it's not visible let me just come now below this i'm just going to add one paragraph now for this i'm just going to give lorem 1000 i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i'm having this content now you can see if i scroll the image is fixed whatever image i'm having here inside the diff container that is fixed and here i'm having this output now in place of fix if i just give here scroll let me just write here scroll and uh, let me just come here now it will scroll along with the text okay how we do normally it is going to work like that if i just give here fix okay that will be fixed and that will not be moving from its position i'll refresh this one you can see it will not move from its position now for this background you can give the overlay effect okay you can give multiple effects using this one now let me just come here now for this i'll just add one paragraph now for this i'll just give background color paste save refresh now you can see we can add this kind of effects as well whenever i uh, whenever i scroll down you can see it will be working like that if you notice here you can see the overlay is been added because of this h1 okay you can create multiple effects using all these properties 
now instead of using all these things okay background image background repeat background attachment each and every time repeating all these properties instead of that we are having shorthand property that is nothing but background let me just write here background whenever we are writing this shorthand we should follow the order first we will be having the color let me just write the order here first we will give the color then we will give the background image property then we are going to give background repeat property background repeat then we are going to give background attachment and then finally we are going to give bg position okay this is the order we have to follow whenever we are using this background shorthand now let me just comment this entire thing and background color also i am removing and instead of background color here i am just going to give the color now okay directly i am just going to pass the color before that let me just show you the output i'll refresh okay now here i am having this output for heading i am having this background color and for paragraph i am having this background color okay now for this diff container directly i am just going to give here uh, orange and next we have to pass the image i am just going to copy the image you don't have to separate by comma you can just separate by space i am just going to paste that one okay next we have to pass whether the image should be repeated or not i am just going to copy this and here i am just going to paste next we are having attachment let me just write here fixed i'll copy okay only values we have to write don't you don't have to write the properties i'm just going to write here and position i'll just write here right top i'll copy and here i'm going to paste i'll save this i'll refresh this one you can see again i'm having the same effect okay whatever previously we were having the same effect will be applied okay you can use only this shorthand property background and you can give all these values okay but it is important that you have to follow this order if you give okay suppose if you just uh, if you just remove no repeat from here and if you give here then also it will work but it is necessary that you should follow this order okay because first we will be having this color then only we will have image if we have image only then we can tell whether it should repeat or not okay if we can tell that one we can tell whether we can scroll this or it should be fixed later on we can give this position okay you should be very specific whenever you are giving this order okay, if you mess the code then it will look very shabby so don't give whatever you feel just follow the order whatever it is provided then it will be easy for you to implement in your projects this is all about background properties we are having some more properties background origin properties we are having plenty of properties but that comes in advanced css you don't have to worry about that one but as a beginner level you can know this background properties we are having background color background image background repeat background attachment background position for all this property we are having a shorthand property called background and inside this background using this order we are going to pass the values we can pass multiple images we can give multiple values for this position multiple values for this one multiple values for this one we can give multiple values we can give any background image that's all for today's tutorial thank you for listening have a great day